everyone has the ability to heal themselves. There is a very powerful and potent technique that you can use and feel a major difference within a few minutes. And this technique that I'm going to teach you today is how to channel your very own light language and soul song. You can use light language and your soul song to raise your vibration, expand your cosmic consciousness, activate etheric DNA, and release old blockages. And the beauty about light language and your soul song is that everyone has the ability to do this. Hi, beautiful star beings of light. My name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm an international spiritual healer, mystic teacher, and starseed channel. I specialize in helping starseeds, empaths, and intuitives discover and expand the inherent spiritual gifts and abilities as a healer, teacher, or coach. As a starseed and spiritual seeker, sometimes you might find it kind of intimidating to channel light language as first. So this is why I'm going to ask you to try to channel your soul songs to begin with. Your soul song is a song, a sound frequency that is aligned to the frequency of your higher self. Now the beauty about the soul song is is unique to you and soul song can evolve over time. So this year your soul song might sound like this. And after a lot of ascension and healing and transformation, your soul songs will change. So even just talking in my myself as an example, my soul song has evolved over the last couple of years. So if your soul song do change as you practice after learning from these videos, do not worry. It is actually a natural form of evolution and expansion. So before I show you the technique, really quickly, I'm going to demonstrate the difference between light language and a soul song. So let's start with light language first. I'm going to tune into the Palladian energy and channel some light language. Sahili haila maha lehe maha. Ya aha wahela mahela yihila si hela wahe. Yihala wahe malahela si ha wahe wahe. And now I will demonstrate my soul song. Si. Si. So that is the difference between light language and so song. So everyone's so song is different. So the First tip that I have for you when you begin to channel light language, right, starting with the soul song, is to release any expectations. And when I'm teaching soul songs to my uh, students who are becoming healers, they will usually find that they will get only like one or two notes to begin with. Or they might tell me, hey, my soul song sounds kind of like yours. And I'm like, of course, we're in the same fi vibration, you know. <laughs> You're an Octarian, I'm an Octarian. So our soul song can sound similar in those regards. So it's letting those expectations go. And don't judge yourself as you channeling. The moment you judge yourself and start to think, your logical override will block your ability to channel. So tune into your heart. Your soul song is a vibration of love. The more that you in your heart, the more love that you have in your heart, the easier it is for your soul song to flow. 
The second tip that I have for you is also doing some practices to open your throat chakra. So I have a video that I can link below talking about how to heal your throat chakra. It's not only just about the food that you eat, um, the seed sound hum that you can chant. There are also past life karmas or blockages that might be blocking your throat chakra. So you want to do some healing as well to help your soul song blossom in itself. The third tip I have for you is like, don't worry about being the best singer, being, <laughs> you know, an opera singer. When you sing your soul song, it's an expression of love. People can feel the love when you sing your soul song. And that is the purpose of the soul song is to vibrate love in the form of sound. Given said that, right, each one of you is unique. So it depends on what kind of clear abilities do you have. If you clear audience, when I guide you into this technique, you might be able to hear your soul song, but may not be able to physically like express it yet. That's okay. Some of you might be able to feel the vibration if you clear sentient. You might have to translate it or let the vibration sink in a little bit more, integrate more before you can fully express your soul song. Step one is your environment. You want to be in a sacred environment. I'm in my healing room right now. Uh, if you can, you can go into nature or maybe in a living room that is relatively quiet. Maybe, maybe when the kids are not home, when you have more time to yourself. You can also do this right at the end of the day. That's usually when our uh, mental mind start to calm down a little bit so you can tune more into your heart and your soul. For some people, the morning is best, so it's completely up to you. You're going to have to practice and see what works best for you. Step two is starting with the right energetic protection and invocation. So you can visualize yourself surrounded by white light, right? Just like the cell and light crystal ball I have, visualize yourself in the center of a beautiful white orb as a form of energetic protection. You can also use an invocation, and this is how I do my invocation. Yours might be a little different. Uh, just for example, Dear Source, dear Mother Kuan Yin, dear my highest self, dear Archangel Michael, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Can you please come and join me in this practice today? I cannot thank you enough. Please guide me. Please assist me. I am a humble student of the universe. I wish to expand myself so that I can become a better healer, so that I can become a brighter light worker to help humanity in Gaia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you would do an invocation like that, addressing the macrocosmic energy, the microcosmic energy, which is yourself, right? And then you can ask for your intention. I want to channel my soul song. And then you want to also want to share why. Why do you want to channel your soul song? Because I want to help people. Because I want to become a better healer, a better channeler. Because I want to serve as a light worker. Or I want to heal myself. I want to heal the pain in my body. So in that way, right, the higher realms know that you're genuine. You're going to use this gift. You're going to use this ability for good. Step three is to now prepare yourself to channel your soul song. And you can use this by using a mantra. And with this mantra, you're going to repeat the mantra over and over again and speeding it up as you go. So just like a train, we're going into gear one, gear two, gear three, gear four, gear five. So the mantra that I channeled with my guides is like this. Hum, om, e, ye, yo. Hum, om, e, ye, yo. And you would just repeat this mantra over and over again, speed it up until your soul songs start to roll out. So it might look something like this. Hum om e ye yo, 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 hum om e ye y
So that's how you channel your soul song. And full disclosure, you can tell I'm not a singer, but I'm not shy to sing my soul song because when I'm tuning into my soul song, I'm just sending and blasting love to everybody, my clients, my students, and to the world, to Mother Gaia. It is your heart, it is your intention that counts. If you would like to expand it further or if you need my help or if you think that I'm a good person to support you along your awakening journey, I do offer private sessions. I offer anything from inner child work, channeling, past life healing, light codes. I can really help you move through some of the blockages and awaken more of your spiritual abilities. And if you're really committed and really ready to ascend to the master healer level, to deeply heal yourself, explore and discover your your innate spiritual gifts, I do have an academy called High Priestess Ascension Academy. It is a training and certification program. So you can message me or go to my website to learn more about these offerings. It's always really cool and magical when lightworkers and starseeds get together. I'm always creating these magic with my fellow beautiful beings. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. I talk about starseeds, spiritual healing, channeling, anything that will really help empower empaths and lightworkers. Now go out there and work your magic. I'll see you in the next video. This is Tiffany. Bye.